What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Yes, I'm back. A little four low out to uh, San Diego for a couple days. I got to catch the some a sport that wasn't hockey. Is thing called uh, American football with the uh, San Diego Chargers and my New England Patriots, and got some really awesome seats. So I, I tweeted those out. Uh, Mogul's gonna mogul. Hashtag that. But. I'm back. You know, a lot happened while I was away. I just want to touch on a few things. Uh, obviously, the Senators fired Paul McLean. I uh, don't like that move because I don't think that's what's pr wrong wrong with this team. I think there's, you know, flawed how it's put together. Uh, quite frankly, the talent level just isn't there for it to compete on night and night up basis. You know, it's just the nature of the beast. I mean, you've lost in you know, the last two off seasons to Alfredson and Spets. So, you know, you bring up Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan's here right now. Um, and again, you know, obviously Eric Carlson's a great player, but, you know, you, you can't just have that. Um, out there, so that's you know that's right now the situation with the Senators, a Cavier situation in Philly. Touched on that a little bit last week. I think it's you know the he's gonna get out of there at some point. Uh, I don't know how why team would trade for that contract, but you know that's just uh, that's you know the reality of the situation with contracts in the NHL. And that's part part of this is the. Um, the mismanagement of Philly. I don't think they did a good enough job addressing the defense over the years. You look at losing Chris Pronger three years ago. I think it was like for three years ago this week, or might have been November. Um, and then you know going all in trying to sign Shea Weber, not having that happen. And then you know really not kicking the tires. I think enough to um, to get the um, you know to address that the blue line. And you know then you give out an erroneous contract to an aging center. It's like well, what are you gonna do? You know what do you expect? Um, you know, that's just that in a nutshell. I touched on that enough last week. Uh, Blackhawks, Jeremy Moran, I'll do a whole piece on that. Um, that's, uh, that's not I think it warrants. Well, we said, I totally met Moran over the summer uh, in Boston. He, he, he works out with um, Kyle Palmieri, Jimmy Hayes, Kevin Hayes, guys like that. Uh, so that, that, that warrants its own piece. I'll give you some insights on that. Um, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm back. We're, um, we're going full tilt, full blast. Uh, we got, if you saw the Twitter page, we got kind of a big interview lined up for next week. Brandon Carlo from the Tri City Americans, 2015 draft eligible defenseman, and um, projected member of the U.S. World Junior Team, projected first round pick as well. I uh, will be in Boston next week uh, trying out for the team and uh, hoping to land an interview with him. That would be uh, clutch, as the kids say. Um, yeah, but I, I talked to him. He, he said he's down for it. You know, we'll set that up. So it's more a matter of, you know, getting everything to go together. But he's, he's, he's on board. So that's. Um, you know that's that's the situation right now with the power play. Um, we any other updates? Uh, hooked up some some people with power play shirts in San Diego. Uh, did I get recognized? No, actually, I did not get recognized out there. People knew me from outside the power play and recognized me, but that was not a power play of CJ fans in San Diego. So kind of unfortunate. But um, so I think is there anything else that's going on that? I might have something really big, but I might not pursue it because for the effort that's going to go into it, it might not be worth it. So that's uh, kind of a bombshell, but not really. Anyway, that's on this episode of the Power of Play with CJ. I'm back. We're going full tilt, full blast. See you from episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.